Hi guys, this is Miss Devra, and today I'm going to show you how to make a sensory bag. So you can use sensory bags to engage babies, toddlers, and older children. Younger babies can be engaged by the bag during tummy time by exploring colors, touch, and movement. Older babies and toddlers like to find the things that are hidden inside and learn about cause and effect. Children of any age enjoy exploring sensory bags and they can learn colors, shapes, and science concepts. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so I have a few examples of how you can make sensory bags, and I'm gonna show you the different examples of how you can do it. For all of the bags, you're going to need duct tape, and you're going to need gallon-sized Ziploc bags. If you're part of the PLP program, you should have received these two items in your bag this week. So you can get them and use them to make this activity. The other items are all gonna come from places in your house. So depending what bag you decide to make will depend on what items you need to make the rest of the bag. So I'm gonna tell you right now, just so you know, that it's always good to prepare your materials ahead of time and then make sure your child is in a safe place so they can help you with this if they're older or so they can watch you and engage with what you're doing. For the first sensory bag example, we're going to use hair gel. You can just get this hair gel. Um, this is not real expensive stuff. Um, it's from the dollar store, so um, you might have some leftover hair gel, something that you tried and you don't like. So I got some hair gel from the dollar store, and then you want to find some small objects from around your house. It can be like buttons or um, alphabet letters, rocks from the garden, anything like that. Um, anything that you can imagine that's going to probably have smooth edges because you don't want it to poke through the bag. Um, so here's what you're going to do. I decided to use these, and I also got these at the dollar store. They're little colored circles. You're going to take your bag. You're going to add the hair gel. So this is the fun part. So older children might want to help, help like squeeze the gel inside the bag. And younger ones, you can engage them by telling, by making funny noises. Uh, and you want to put all of it. That's probably a good amount, right? And then you want to put your objects inside. You can count the objects when you put them in, like one, two, three. If you have an older baby or toddler, they can help you put them in. You can hand them the object and say, "Drop it," and you can put it in the bag. You can ask them to find the color. Can you put, find the red circles so we can put it in the bag? So you want to put some things in the bag. Zip it up. You want to make sure you have it completely tight on the top. And you want to get most of the air out of the bag as well. Now the next part is you're going to add the duct tape want to first start at the top, move your other items out of the way. About as long as the bag. And lay it across the top. Put your bag over. Hold the tape. Now, you may want to use two pieces of tape on the top of your bag. I'm going to do that because when they're playing with it, you don't want it to come out. So, another piece of tape, do the same thing, put it on the top, make sure you push it down, hold it over and push it. Now you do want to cut these edges off without cutting the bag. And you are going to continue with this tape 
all the way around the bag. So, next side. Push down. And fold it over. Next side. It's not an exact science, so if you need to redo a spot, that's fine too. Okay. It's as long as the bag. Cut it. Now, if the gel is all in the bottom, you want to move it out of the spot while you're putting the tape on it because you don't want the gel to get stuck under the tape. Okay. So, move the gel out of the way. Piece of tape. Lay it across the bag. Fold it over. It's really easy. And it's fun. And move my gel out of the way for this one. Tape. And put this tape on here. This side. Push it down, flip it over. And you want to clean up your edges a little bit so the tape doesn't want to come undone while you're playing with it. All right, so this is your sensory bag. I'm going to make a couple more and then I'm going to show you how you can play with them with your baby. Okay, for the next sensory bag, we're going to use colored water, oil, and insect. Well, actually, dinosaurs and bugs. Something like that. Yeah. Frogs, lizards. I'm going to put some water inside. Good right there. And I'm going to use yellow for this. Like I said, you can put anything you want in a sensory bag. A few drops. We're making yellow so you can talk to your child about the colors. Drips, drip, drip. We can count the drips. We want five drips. You can have as many drips as you want but you want to tell your child something that you're going to count. So here goes, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Five drips. All right, and let's look at it. Let's see how that color looks. That's a little bit. Oh yeah, that's nice yellow water. Now we're going to add some oil. Get some regular oil. You can get um, coconut oil, olive oil, corn oil. This is canola oil. I'm going to pour some oil in this bag. Okay. You see how the oil and the water separate? So you've actually got some bubbles in there already because they don't, the oil and the water <laughs> isn't mixing. It's separating. And now, a little bit more oil. Now I'm going to add my frog. I'm going to That's different. So seal up the top. You want to seal this up really good because there's water in here now. Okay, put your lid, make sure you're cleaning up as you go along a little bit. You don't want, you want to make sure that there's nothing you're leaving in front of the baby. If your baby's sitting with you, move the scissors. Okay. So most of you have shaving cream around the house. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. And dish soap. You can use dish soap, shampoo, hand soap, any kind of soap. 
You can use different colored soaps if you like. That makes it fun. I'm going to put the shaving cream in first. Remember to talk to your baby while you're doing this, your baby or your child. Ready? Let's record it in. Okay, for the last sensory bag example, I am going to use sand and little toy lizards. So you can use any kind of little toy animal if you want for this, it'd be fun. Or you can just do it with um, button, like I said, buttons, letters, any small toys that you have, or even rocks from the garden, little flowers, things like that. So we're gonna use these little lizards and we're gonna, I got sand. Um, but you can also just go right out to your garden and get some dirt, some sand. You can bring some sand back from the beach. Some beaches that you go to have like the little tiny uh, pebbles and shells, things like that would be fun in this kind of a sensory bag. So we're going to, I'm going to use three different colors of sand for this though. And so I'm going to talk to my child about the colors as I'm putting them in and let them feel the sand for your older children. So first I'm going to pour the blue sand in. And then I'm going to pour some white sand in. And then finally, I'm going to add the green sand. Is that the sensory? All my colors of sand in here. And now I'm going to add the lizards. I have a green one. Oh, and I have a yellow one. I have a red one. And I have a black one. All the lizards in the sand. And I'm not going to actually add any liquid to this sensory bag. But you could if you wanted to. Water. Ready? And a little bit of water. This will be fun. Okay, now I've created the bags I wanted to make and it's time to play. So let's see which ones we have. This one I made with soap, corn syrup, and those little um, styrofoam balls. This one I made with shaving cream and soap. This one is the one with the hair gel. And those circles. This one we made with oil, colored water, and frogs, and the little circles. And this one is the sand and the lizards. So you've created your bag, it's time to play and explore with your child. If you have a small infant, you can take the bag that you made and place it on the floor. And then Put your child down on their tummy. Let them look at the bag and pat the bag. You can see them, they'll be looking at the different colors and the way the soap is mixing together. It's lots of fun. If you have an older baby, they might actually like to hold the bag. Push it around. You're gonna explore what they can see inside. You can talk about what's there, right? They can squish it, they can shake it, you can watch it go back and forth, right? Okay, if you have an older baby, you may want to, or a toddler even, you could talk about the colors. Like I said, you can count. 
Let's see if we can move. It can be a challenge. Let's see if we can move all of these shapes. One. And now I'm going to try to move the orange one to the corner. I'm going to put the shapes in the corners. Well, that might be fun. You can make up a game with it, right? Either way, it's really satisfying and fun. Okay, now it's time for you to make a sensory bag. I can't wait to see what kind of materials you use, and I want to see how you play with your baby with it. See you next week. Bye.